Welcome back. In this part of the video, we'll be talking about the cloak and how to paint fabric. Okay, so now we're going to concentrate on fabric and right now I'm painting a little bit of skin that is showing on her chest. Uh, chest is so boring. I don't want to say chest. How about we go with boobies? I like boobies. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the same colors I did for the face. It's going to be the rosy skin shadow. It's kind of a hard area to hit um, because her sword is blocking where I have to paint. So I go back in there, such a, such a small area. It doesn't take much to blend up to your colors. I'm going back in with that more of that rosy shadow and I'll go up to the uh, rosy skin color. Putting some highlights in here. I'm not too worried about the uh, the strings across the boobies because um, I'll paint those in after I get all my colors down for the skin. So here I am painting the, uh, the little strings on her jumpsuit, or whatever we would like to call it, her cat suit, as I referred to it earlier. I'm coming in since I uh, got a little paint uh, outside of, of the strings, a little black paint, so I have to come back in and clean it up a little bit. Now I'm taking uh, the the colors I laid down earlier, uh, were, which were black, and then the dark elf shadow, followed by the dark elf skin. So I'm taking the dark elf shadow here, which is the next color up from the black that I wanted to use, and I'm just putting in the highlights on the strings. Again, it's such a small area. It's pretty easy to achieve a nice blend on your colors. And I'm just touching it with that the dark elf skin. jumpsuit area here, the cat suit. I'm just blending it in. Working up to the dark elf skin color. And then I 
went in with my one of my darker uh, with my black and I redid the shadow around her leg and then I'll do a highlight which I chose to use the vampiric skin color again for my brightest highlight on the cloth the same one I used for the hair it's useful since it has that um, warmer temperature to it to see because the sword's in the way. But I added a highlight to the, the V, the very bottom of the V in her, in her cat suit that she's got on. going to be on the very tops of her legs. to go up for, um, as a high high as a highlight for the leg that's under the cloak. dark elf skin mixed with the vampiric highlight. Lay down some uh, brighter color in a concentrated area. Even blend there. And 
for the cloak, I used a Nightmare Black, a Twilight Blue, a Midnight Blue, and then my highest highlight was a Snow Shadow. So I start and I put down Nightmare Black like I have for all of my other colors. I do uh, a nice base coat, even, uh, even colors. Just making sure that there's no uh, white primer showing through. And I paint the scarf. Because I waited to paint that um, because I paint the skin. So it's just easier to fill in. Now that she's got a nice um, even base coat, I start with the Twilight Blue and I'm just um, figuring out where all my highlights are going to go. So with the cloak, uh, it'll be on the, the upper folds. And I just work in layers, building up the color. There I go with that speed painting again. When I'm applying these layers, the um, layers help me achieve a nice even gradient on the cloak itself, which works well when you're painting cloth. And I've moved up to more of my twilight blue mixed with some midnight blue. And again, like I did before with all my highlights, I highlight up to smaller and smaller areas the areas that will receive the most light. Mm -hmm. Got a little paint outside of the lines. Just gotta clean that up there. No big deal. And here you can see my paint still a little wet when I'm going over each surface. And for that, I'm doing a little wet blending, which I find is easier for me to get my smooth transitions. I switch back and forth between the, um, the layering of the paint, the thin layers, and the wet blending. Which some people are more comfortable with wet blending, and some people are more comfortable with the um, putting down the layers. Be aware that your paint looks brighter when it's wet and that it will dry, so you won't be able to tell um, the difference between the two as much if you're getting a nice smooth texture. And don't worry too, if you get too much of a highlight if you go outside of the area there. You can just come back in with a darker color and clean it up. Put in those dark highlights or dark shadows again.
now I've added in a little bit of uh, the snow shadow to my weathered blue to bring the color up. Now I've got a lot more snow shadow mixed with just a little bit of that weather blue. And you can see the difference, how bright it is. I'm going to blend it in a little bit. I've decided that my shadows are a little too dark. Um, the transition is, is too dramatic, so I went in with some uh, twilight blue mixed with a little bit of that uh, nightmare black. And smoothed it into the fold. Using that snow shadow now. I'm just using it in the small, smaller areas, the very tops of the folds of the cloak. So now I work on the back of her cloak. You can see I'm doing the same thing, using the same colors.
I'm just doing a little bit more of a wet blend there, trying to even out the colors. It would be not as bright underneath her hair. And same thing with these folds. Just trying to blend in the two colors a little bit better. painting the folds of the scarf. folds of the scarf, doing the same colors I used on the cloak, bringing up the highlights with the twilight blue to the weathered blue, then to the snow shadow. It's a little easier to achieve a, a nice gradient because it's a smaller area. I go back in and I clean up a little bit of the edge there with the uh, the nightmare black. Here again, I'm just smoothing everything out. With cloth, you want a really nice, smooth transition. And it's easier to do that when you let things dry. Get that final highlight on there on the edge of the cloak. Let's work that into the other color.
I just want to touch up a little bit of the hair here because I got some blue on it when I was painting, which happens. 